Hi there! Welcome to the Educom community. We're excited you're here. In this short training video, you're going to learn how to use Educom with success. Educom is a fully bilingual, English and French, co-regulation program created by teachers that gives you and your students the tools, strategies, and common vocabulary to manage emotions and behaviors mindfully. No prep required. This mindfulness program will help you and your students find calm during the busy, often hectic school day. You and your students will learn to manage your emotions mindfully, which will help you both to thrive in a calm and focused learning atmosphere. Mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to the present moment on purpose. It's a skill that's developed through practice and repetition. In school, we take the time every day to explicitly teach our students to read using various methods and through lots of repetition and practice before they're able to read independently. The same is necessary with mindfulness. If we want our students to be able to manage their emotions and self-regulate independently, we need to teach them how to do so with a daily mindfulness practice. Educom is intended to be a daily practice, and we provide everything you'll need to do this with no prep. Just as we don't expect our students to learn to read after only one lesson, we can't expect them to become masters in self-regulation right away. Practice and repetition are the key ingredients. With a daily practice, you'll notice that you spend less time and energy on classroom management, giving you more time for academics. First things first, let's take a look at how the website is organized so that you know where to find what you need. When you go to educom.com, you'll sign in from the top right corner. If your browser kept you signed in since last time, or you've navigated away from your member area and want to go back, you'll click on My Member Area. You can change the language by clicking on French or English in the top right corner from any page of the website. Then, scroll down a bit and click on the Educom tile. You'll see that the Educom content is organized by themes. With the free trial, you have access to the Start Here theme. If you've signed up for a full membership to Educom, you'll have access to all the themes and all the units within those themes, which means you'll have a lesson for every day of the school year. Once you click on Start Here, there are two tabs. The tabs are how we separate units within a theme. There are often two units within one theme. In this first theme of the program, on the left, there are support materials to help you, the teacher. Note that this is the only theme where there's a whole unit dedicated to teacher professional development. This unit is simply here to set you up for success. The video you're currently watching has all of the information you'll need to use Educom. The other videos are additional and optional professional development on mindfulness and social-emotional learning. There are also other supporting resources in this section, some of which I'll explain later in this video. The right tab is where you'll find the content you'll use with your students. There are audios, a lesson plan, student booklets, and other supporting resources. I'll be explaining how to use this content a little later in the video. Now, I'm going to walk you through the basics of how to use this program by breaking down the planning phase, the practice phase, and the reflection phase. Let's get started with the planning phase to set you and your students up for success. This phase is all about planning and pre-teaching so that the daily practice can then go smoothly. Step one will be to consider if you'd like to share with your students' parents or guardians, or not, that you'll be using Educom in your classroom. This is a completely optional step, and it's up to you to decide if it will be beneficial to your situation. If this is something you'd like to do, we have a pre-written letter in the Start Here section of Educom that you can copy or use as an outline for how to talk about Educom and mindfulness with parents and guardians. The best and most simple way to describe Educom is by saying that it's a program that helps get students' brains ready for learning. You can also direct parents to our website where we have lots of details about the program. Step two will be to add five to ten minutes for Educom to your daily schedule so that both you and your students see it as part of the daily routine. At first, this may seem like a big time investment, but with a daily Educom practice, in the long term, you'll actually gain back time for teaching and learning because of reduced classroom management challenges. A great time to do the practice is at the beginning of your time with your students. For elementary school teachers that are with their students all day, 
First thing in the morning, right after the morning announcements and national anthem is perfect. The Educom practice helps everyone start the morning in a calm and focused state and prepares students' brains for learning. For middle school, high school, and specialist teachers that see their students for a period and then get a new group of students for the next period, the first 5 to 10 minutes of class time is the best time for Educom. If your schedule doesn't fit these suggestions, choose whatever other option you'd be able to keep consistent. Some teachers do their practice right after recess or lunch. Some phys ed teachers do the practice at the end of class to help students calm down and be ready to go back to their classrooms. Routine and repetition is the key to success. Many teachers do Educom more than once per day because they find that they can get so much more done and classroom management is much easier when they start with an Educom practice to calm students down and get their brains focused and ready to learn. When Educom is on your schedule, both you and your students will know when to expect it and it will become part of the routine. Step three of the planning phase is to explain to your students why this practice will be beneficial to them so that they understand the purpose. And you'll want to set clear expectations for when you're listening to the guided audios so they know how to have success. Watching the introduction to mindfulness video with your students is a great way to start this conversation. You can find it in the start here theme in the introduction to mindfulness unit. The explanation of why you're doing Educom can be as simple as saying, we're going to be doing this practice to create a calm and focused learning atmosphere, or this practice is going to help you get your brain ready for learning. Or you could go deeper and tell a story to your students about why you decided to do this practice in the classroom. I like to explain to my students that mindfulness helps me to feel calm when I'm feeling big emotions like stress, frustration, or anger, and that I want to share this practice with them so that they too can learn how to manage big emotions in a healthy way. We also have a pre-teaching lesson that you can follow here. This lesson can be taught in addition to watching the introduction to mindfulness video if you'd like to go into more depth with your students about the why, but it isn't necessary. Since most students have never experienced mindfulness before, they have no idea what it should look like or what they need to do to have success. Before you start listening to the audios with them, set clear expectations for what it should look like, sound like, and feel like. I like to say it should look like everyone is following along with what the audio is saying. It should sound quiet so that everyone can hear the audio, and it should feel calm and relaxed in the classroom. This is covered in the introduction to mindfulness video, but it's a good idea to clarify expectations in your own words. Step four is the practice phase. Now that you've completed the planning and pre-teaching, you're ready to start your daily practice, where you'll be listening to the audios with your students. Decide where and how your students will sit. There's no right or wrong way to sit. Just choose what will help your students to have success. Sitting at their tables, sitting in a circle on the floor, choosing their own spots in the class. It's up to you to figure out what will work best for your students to have success in listening to and following along with the audios, with minimal distractions. Be sure to differentiate expectations based on specific student needs. Some students may need supports to be able to listen to the two or five minute audios with success. Remember that Educom is a co-regulation program which means it's meant for both you and your students to have a moment of self-care every single day. When you listen to the audios, you'll need to model the practice and follow along. Since this is new for your students, they'll be looking to you and mirroring how you practice. And this practice is important for you too. You deal with so many things on your plate during the day. This should also be a time for you to feel more calm so that you're ready to be your awesome teacher self. It's important that students see that mindfulness supports everyone at all ages. With the full Educom membership, you'll have access to all of these themes. With the free trial, you have access to the first unit of the Educom program, Introduction to Mindfulness, in the Start Here theme. We encourage all teachers to start with this unit as it teaches the foundational concepts of the program. After doing this unit, feel free to jump around from theme to theme and unit to unit based on your interests, the needs of your students, and ways you can adopt an interdisciplinary approach by doing a certain unit in tandem with your curriculum. 
Each unit is meant to last four to five weeks, and how you use the audios will depend on your student's age. For kindergarten to grade three or four, listen to audio one for a whole week. Then on week two, listen to audio two, and so on. With middle school, you'll want to listen to audio one on Monday, audio two on Tuesday, and so on. Then repeat for four weeks. With high school, if you're on a semester system, you won't have the time to cover all of the themes and units. So focus on the ones that are most relevant to your students, their needs, and their interests. You'll want to listen to audio one on Monday, audio two on Tuesday, and so on. Then repeat for approximately two weeks. It's a good idea to offer student voice and choice in how you use the Educom content. This is especially important for older grades. With Introduction to Mindfulness, you have two or five minute options for each audio. You can choose to start with the two minute and move up to five minute when you find that your students are having success. Or you can jump right into the five minutes, knowing that it might be challenging for them at first, but that with practice and your support, they will improve. For teachers that teach in French immersion or bilingual setting, often teachers will switch between languages so that their students hear the audios in both languages to ensure a deeper understanding. The French and English versions of all the Educom content is exactly the same, just translated, so you can easily jump between languages. Step five is the reflection phase. After listening to the audio, it's a great idea to connect and reflect to gain a deeper understanding and embodiment of what was learned. Give students the opportunity to think about and to share how the practice is supporting them, and to reflect on which strategies they're learning that are helpful to them. This reflect and connect time helps to build a strong classroom community and gives you the chance to hear how your students are doing emotionally so that you can do your best to support them. This reflection can be done as a sharing circle or round robin where each student gets to share what they experienced while listening to the audio, or it can be done as a discussion where only students that raise their hand share, or it can be done individually by using our student reflection booklets or a journal. We have discussion prompts you can use in the lesson plans. We encourage you to adapt the reflection phase based on you and your students' needs. In the Introduction to Mindfulness unit, as well as with all units in Educom, you'll have audios. This is the core practice and the most important part of the program. A lesson plan. This gives you information on what will be covered in the audios and gives you ideas for how you can use the printables. There's nothing you have to teach from the plan. It's more a guideline so you know what to expect from the unit. Student booklets. This is optional. In the student booklets, there's a page for each audio that can be used to connect what students are learning to the regular teaching curriculum or as a way for students to reflect on what they learned in the audio. Posters. This is another optional supporting resource. Posters can be used in lots of different ways. You can print them or put them up on your projector or smart board as a visual. You can use it as a springboard for a discussion or as a vocabulary review for additional language learners. My Calm Place activity. This is also optional. This is an activity that students can do to represent their calm place. In each unit of Educom, there are different supporting resources to help you integrate what students are learning in the audios with your regular teaching curriculum. There are projects, activities, games, and more. Your free trial never expires, so you can continue using this resource forever. If you have the full Educom membership, you have access to all the themes and units, which gives you a daily practice for the entire school year. In this training video, we've given you the guidelines and recommendations for how to use Educom with success. However, you're the expert for your students. Know that the program is designed to be flexible and adaptable to your unique situation, time constraints, and needs. Feel free to jump around between units, return to the favorite audios and videos, and skip any content that isn't a good fit for you. Educom audios and videos can be used multiple times per day to help with smooth transitions, to give students brain breaks, and to prepare them for calm and focused learning. Educom contains lots of resources, so don't feel overwhelmed. All supporting materials are optional. The important part is to listen to the audios daily with your students. 
Remember that routine and repetition are the keys to success and that the power in this program is that it supports both student and teacher well-being with a daily practice that builds skills over time. We hope this video gave you the information you need to get started. If you want more detailed training and information about how mindfulness supports learning, watch the other professional development videos in the Training for Teachers unit in the Start Here theme of Educom. Again, we want to welcome you to the Educom community. Get ready to thrive in a calm and focused learning atmosphere.